Now let's begin with the top stories making the rounds on the show this morning, beginning with the cashless policy, uh, which is currently ravaging the country. The Office of the National Security Advisor has expressed fears the recent policies introduced by the CBN of Nigeria uh, may frustrate military operations if not properly executed, as it will become difficult to pay officers on the battlefield. The National Security Advisor, Major General Babangana Mugunu, retired, made this known while appearing before the House Ad Hoc Committee on the CBN's cashless policy and to extend the time frame of the currency swap in Abuja on Thursday. The NSA, who was represented by Rear Admiral Abubakar Mustafa, stated that due to the sensitivity of some of this information that will come out bordering on security, he would not want to divulge some details before the press. And on cash withdrawal and POS transactions, Naira scarcity caused by the Central Bank of Nigeria's redesign and cash withdrawal policy has pushed point of sales transactions to 807.16 billion naira in January 2023. This is a 40.69% year on year increase from the 573.72 billion naira transactions that was done in January 2022. According to new data from the Nigeria Interbank Settlement System NIBSS, total cashless transactions in Nigeria rose by 45.41% year-on-year to 39.58 trillion naira in January 2023. The NIBSS monitors cashless transactions through the Nigeria Instant Payment System and point-of-sales terminals. Total NIP transactions for the period rose by 45.5% year-on-year from 26.65 trillion naira as of January 2022 to 38.7 trillion naira as of January 2023. And in other stories, the federal government on Thursday commenced the deployment of security agencies to fill-in stations across the country to enforce the use of POS, that's point of sale machines, and the acceptance of bank transfers at the various outlets. It vowed to deal with oil marketers who reject POS machines or bank transfers from customers, stressing that the move became vital following reports that some filling stations were culpable as regards this development, despite the severe cash crunch nationwide. But the oil marketers told the news correspondent that they were also hit by the cash crunch as this had affected their operations in diverse ways, denying them the ability to restock in some instances. And President Muhammad Buhari has approved the establishment of a Presidential Transition Council to facilitate and manage the 2023 transition program. Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Boss Mustafa announced the approval yesterday in a statement signed on his behalf by Director of Information, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, OSGF Willy Bassi. The statement said the Transition Council would be inaugurated by the SGF on February 14. Members of the committee, according to the statement, include the SGF as Chairman, Head of the Civil Service of the Federation, Solicitor General of the Federation and Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Justice.